We're going to go ahead and start looking at the code that we wrote and explaining what's going on in this lesson. And we're going to start with just the packages and the imports for this particular lesson. And then we're going to spend some time talking about um, web requests and some other background information that's going to help us make sense of the rest of this code. Uh, we might actually explain a little bit of this code before we go into that background information, but it's going to be in a separate lesson, not in this one. So this first bit of the code that we have, um, these first six lines, start with the keyword package. And this defines the package that our code is part of. In our case, we're, we're saying this is in the package main. So packages are just a way of grouping similar code together. For instance, we might have a package for um, a set of functions that use to process images, or you might have a package that has a code for compressing and, and decompressing zip files uh, that you see whenever you, you, know, you download a zip file from the internet and you have to decompress it to get all the files out of it. So there's different ways to organize code, uh, but packages are basically the, the way that you separate them into what are essentially libraries that you can use as you're going about coding. Early on, uh, it is my opinion that having a bunch of small packages with not a lot of code can be unproductive. So most of our code is just going to be in a single main package. Uh, and as your code grows, we'll start to look at ways to break it up into packages as that makes sense. But the main, a single package just tends to be a little bit simpler early on rather than trying to you know, break each package up with a single function or a single little piece of functionality. That gets kind of annoying to, to navigate when you're looking at all the code. So our code is in a package called main because that's a special package. Um, basically, this tells a Go program where to start when you're building it and running it. So essentially, this is telling our Go code that whenever we um, build this code and we go to run it, that package main is where it should start, and then it should look for a main function inside of that code. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this main function um, in a future lesson. But this is where our code is going to start, and that's what package main signifies. So there's going to be a single main function inside of your main package, and every Go program, at least ones that you're going to be running, should have one main package that they start from. Um, one sort of caveat side note to this is that if you explore a project and you know, you're looking at ones online on GitHub or wherever, and you see they might have this um, CMD directory. So they might make a directory called CMD. It looks like the word command, but like abbreviated. Um, and then inside of that, they have different folders, and each one has its own main package. This is a pattern that you'll see pretty often in Go. Um, and it's not that this one program has multiple main packages. What, what's actually happening is that every folder inside of the CMD directory is a separate program that can be built. So a separate binary or you, whatever you want to call it that you'd build and then run. And each one is its own main package that then starts the whole program. So what's going on here is that they're separating all those little programs that all might share the rest of the source code in the project. And each one is its own separate actual program that gets built. So it's kind of like you're looking at a project that has several programs inside of it. So that's why you're going to see multiple main packages there. And it can be a little bit confusing, um, but, but that's what's going on. We aren't going to be doing that right now. We might do that towards the end of this course um, when we start to get you know, a little bit further along with everything. But for now, it doesn't make sense. So after we declare our package main, we have our imports here. And this is just our way of telling the program what other packages that we're going to be using. So I said packages are a way to organize code. And in this case, fumpt and net slash HTTP are other um, packages that we want to use inside of our code. Now, fumpt is basically a way of printing out stuff. Um, that's the simplest way I can summarize it right now. Um, so you'll see it's used here for printing out the welcome to my awesome site string whenever somebody makes a web request. And then it's also used to print out starting the server on 3000 to our terminal when we actually start our program up. Uh, the net slash HTTP package is used to do pretty much everything HTTP related. So whether it is setting up a server on your own or it is communicating to another server and making requests to it, all of that is going to be provided by the net slash HTTP package. And that's why we're seeing it here, is we're actually setting up a server, and we're running it and listening for requests on port 3000. And this is our function that gets run whenever we're actually getting a request. So all of these are using the net slash HTTP package for some types and some different things provided there. We're going to look at more of how we're using those packages in a future lesson. Um, but basically, that's everything that's happening here, is we're defining what package we're in, and we're defining what packages we're using.